G'day Minecrafters and how you going? Steve O here with another video and today I wanted to bring you guys another redstone video. It's been a little while since I've made one, a few days at least, and so I wanted to make a new one. Um, I've recently discovered something with myself. Uh, I found out after I'd uh, come up with it that it had been discovered prior to me, make, me discovering it, but I wanted to make a video about it anyway because it was new to me and I thought I'd discovered it anyway. I was kind of playing around with uh, one tick pulses and I discovered that I could make a very compact binary counter um, through this. This is all I've, I've got. Three pistons, one after the other, and an interrupted signal with send. And as you can see, the binary is counting as it's supposed to. Now, just to prove that, I've got a decoder over here to... Uh, show us that it does increment one by one. This is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's, um, yeah. And it's counting up not normally. Three bits. And it goes back to the start. So you could use this for a lot of different things. Um, it continues to send a one tick pulse every single time. And the reason for that is because, actually I'll make the thing first and then we'll explain why it works. Uh, hold on a moment and we'll, let's put it together. Okay, so we've got everything we need. Um, first of all, ha what you've got uh, initially is a th something like this. With a redstone going into that block there, it sends out a one tick pulse through the block. Um, to the next section. So that will continue as long as you have repeaters no greater than one tick or redstone, you'll continue to perpetuate that one one tick pulse. Um, now one tick pulses are very useful in redstone because it makes a sticky piston just leave its block where it was. Or you can make this even longer if you wanted. You could do more than three. You could do four or five or twenty or whatever. It's a really easy way to make a redstone counter um, other than what has what you might have seen in other videos, like just to give you an example, let's um let's put this on here. Be now, as you notice, they've all been pushed up. That's the first reaction. It's a really quick pulse that goes through all of them, and the one tick pulse is gathered. But as you notice, this one's back down again. I mean, hang on, that's the original one. Now, as you notice, this one gets pulled down again the first time. And that's because this redstone here couldn't continue any further. Now when this comes back through again, it'll pull this down and push this up, which is counting for binary still. Now next time this will get pulled down again, and then this will get pushed up, sorry, pulled down, these will both get pushed up. So it's, it counts in like binary normally would. And it will go all the way through right to the end and then reset. It'll work for any length, and it can be de decoded as easy as this. There are probably other ways to decoder, but this is probably the easiest way. You put a block of sand on top of each of these and have it go into a redstone signal. Which is broken the moment the um, the sand is retracted. See, watch. Uh, when this goes through, that will get pulled down and the other three will get pushed up. See? And it counts like normal binary. Um, I hope you can find this useful. I found it pretty useful when I figured it out. Um, and, and then I realized that it had been done before. Of course it's been done before. Everything I've come up with has been done before. But it's pretty awesome either way. I'm not going to take credit for it. I'm not going to try and take credit for it. But I wanted the idea to get out there because it is pretty damn awesome. Um, this is my nice compact version here with the, um, the redstone inverted at the end here because we want a negative signal to be able to light these torches depending on what you want to do. I inverted it for my purposes but it's a really simple and easy binary counter um, which you might be able to use. Anyway guys thanks for watching I hope you can find this useful. I'll come up with more redstone made simple videos soon I've just been um, busy with what well, it's, it's Christmas so everyone's busy but <laughs> yeah um, but I hope you guys have had an awesome Christmas or having an awesome Christmas and I'll catch you guys soon. All right, see ya. Got a little Swedish there. there. Yeah.